Welcome back to Trilogy. I've got a really exciting watch here today, one of my absolute favourite pieces and a watch that's been getting a lot more respect over the last few years and a lot more popularity. And that is, of course, the Vacheron Constantin Overseas. Uh, this is the dual time, the reference number 7900V. The Overseas over the last few years has been growing in popularity hugely, especially in the bull run that we saw in the watch market over the last uh, sort of two, three years, you know, when prices went up and went a bit mental. APs and Pateks, uh, you know, uh, went absolutely insane, over 100K for some of them. And obviously being part of the holy trinity of watchmaking, this lifted up the Vacheron prices as well, as people were trying to get into the ultra high end of steel sports models and the Pateks and APs were a little a bit unaffordable which sort of allowed the Vacheron to move more into the spotlight which is fantastic really in my opinion because it is just an absolutely incredible watch. So the model I have here today is the 7900V dual time. This is the latest model it was released in 2018 and it was uh, very well uh, appreciated in the watch market it's a bit different to the last ones and there's some really innovative cool features one of them which I think is fantastic really innovative and probably the best way I've seen bracelets and straps approached by any watch brand uh, is, is, is the ease of how you can change a bracelet. So all of these models, they come with three different uh, straps slash bracelets. So you get obviously the metal uh, bracelet that's on here now. I'm actually wearing one as well. This is my personal one, uh, the 7900V. I've got it on the white rubber strap, but they come as a standard with a blue, uh, whichever dial color you have would, uh, would dictate the color. So this one obviously being the blue dial. It's got the blue rubber strap as well as the blue leather strap. As you can see, it's super easy to change straps. You just take the watch off and just pop this button off here and uh, it literally just clips back on and it, I've honestly never seen anything as innovative as this. The Santos de Cartier, which was released a few years ago, uh, has also got uh, the, an easy strap change, but it's a little bit more difficult than this one. There's, there's nothing that I've seen on the market that is this easy and I think it's a fantastic feature. Anyone who's not a watchmaker who doesn't have any experience in watches can literally do it themselves. And the, the possibilities are endless. I myself for this one, uh, I bought this last year for myself. I just thought I absolutely loved it when it came into stock. So I, so I took it and just kept it. And uh, I bought, I've now got eight different straps for it. I've got the white one for summer, which is great. These white straps are actually quite rare, but I've got the red, the brown, black, blue, uh, you know, just a whole selection of them. They're really good. I'm trying to get the orange one at the moment, but it's proven a bit difficult. But what I love about this watch in general, and you know, that as I was saying, the, 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 the easy change on the straps is, you know, it's like having six or seven watches. Just, I can literally pop this off, pop a different one on. I'm going on holiday next week. I've got four different straps I'm going to take with me. And it's literally like, instead of having to take a collection, I've just got one watch and I've just got a few straps in my bag. It's fantastic. One of the best things I've seen, uh, you know, to do with bracelets for a long, long time. Another great feature on this bracelet is the extendable clasp. You know, in the evenings when you go on holiday, you get a bit hot, your wrist expands, and sometimes your watch can feel a little bit uncomfortable. But Vacheron's also thought of that when using the metal bracelet. So as you can see, you literally just pop the link out and it just becomes a five mil bigger each side. So it becomes, when your wrist expands, a lot more comfortable and a lot more wearable. They really sort of have thought of everything. So that's enough about the straps. Let's talk about the watch itself. The watch itself is powered by Vacheron's uh, in-house caliber 5110DT, which is a powerhouse of a movement. 60 hour power reserve. Uh, with, it's also got the skeleton case back. Just look at that stunning movement. And it uh, helps with uh, all the features on the dial, which as you can see, it's got the uh, four hands, obviously four, as it's a dual time, so you've got the GMT hand, as well as the three regular hands you'd expect. We've got AM and PM uh, indicator for the dual time, as well as we've got a date wheel at the bottom. It's, uh, it all fits nicely onto the dial. I think it's a stunning dial. You know, there's it's quite a lot going on, but it's not too busy. I think it works really well. And then just look at that blue color. The blue is fantastic and absolute royal blue is lovely. The dial itself is actually made out of brass and I think it just looks fantastic. And obviously you've got the instantly recognizable uh, overseas bezel. It's different to any other bezel that's on the market and it's sort of like the Vacheron logo if it was to be put together. That's how it would be if you took the bits out and put it together, that's how the logo would look. So I think that's a really cool feature. Uh, so overall, I think uh, it's a really, really great watch, which is obviously why I bought one for myself, but I always like to keep a few in stock. A lot of other dealers uh, wouldn't buy Vacheron, uh, but for me, I'm a big fan. I sell them quite a lot and I absolutely love them. So I like the option to be able to pull one out of the window and wear it. So let's talk about pricing. The pricing on this, it retails at 29.5. 
Uh, last year, uh, during the ball run, they went up quite high. They went up to about 50K. I actually paid 40K for this one, but I'm not too bothered. You know, I've lost a bit of money on it, but I'm not gonna sell it anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But so now they've come down. They're actually cheaper than retail now on the secondary market. This one here is a 2019 model. We're asking 27,950, and obviously it's the full set. Comes with both the straps and the clasp, and an absolutely stunning model. Uh, so yeah, that was a little roundup of perhaps my favorite Vacheron, the 7900 V with the blue dial. Let me know what you think about it. Are you a fan of Vacheron? Or have you in fact seen a strap combo or interchangeability that's better or as good as this one? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Trilogy. And if you're looking for a new watch, don't forget to phone Frankie first.